Dark Souls is a game I've always wanted to complete but never got around to doing so because of how brutally hard it was for me when I was younger. Well, in this video, I'm going to be 100%ing the game by getting the Platinum Trophy. This will not be easy as I have to complete both endings, craft every boss weapon in the game, and deal with some very annoying NPC quest lines. After creating my beautiful character, our journey begins here in the Undead Asylum, when suddenly a mysterious knight drops down a key for us to escape. What is hey! that in there? Please don't tell me we have to fight that. Is this a bonfire? Yep, there it is. First bonfire lit. While exploring the asylum, I came across this thing. This looks like a boss room. I knew it. It's a freaking boss room. I'm leaving. Luckily, we were able to escape for now. So in the meantime, I continued to explore and get some new gear. Oh, it opened a passage right here. Oh, it's the guy from the beginning. Okay, just like that, we got our heels. I'm gonna do our boy a favor and just put him out of his misery. <laughs> Sorry, I had to end like this. Oh, it's the boss. Yee! Wow. I did half his health with that swing. Oh my, hold up. Get this work, get this work in. Okay, that was my fault. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. Get these hits in. Boom. Let's go. Easy boss. First try. After defeating the first boss, I was immediately kidnapped by this giant crow and taken to the main starting area of the game, where we would pick up some more trophies. Reach Lord Ran. Okay, new trophy. We just got Way of the White by talking to this random dude. This specific trophy was for a covenant. There are multiple covenants in the game and we need to find all of them in order to get the platinum trophy. And with those out of the way, I started progressing through the game like normally. Oh, there's a freaking dragon here. No way. Oh my god. Who is that? Who? He doesn't look friendly. Let me get out of here. Who are you? Jesus Oh my god, what is this? Another boss fight? The Taurus demon? Freaking archers, man. We gotta kill them first. Out of my way, dummies. Can I do an attack on this guy? I can! Okay. Already figured out the mechanic. Let me get some slices in. Bop, bop. Dodge. Okay, that was not a dodge. Let me back up. He's so fast! Break those ankles. That's what I thought. Let me get a sip. Jump attack. Whoa! He jumped into my attack! What do you mean? Look at him! He's up there! Oh, get back up, get back up. Jump attack. Take that. Can I hit this guy with magic too? Oh my god, magic does so much. Magic does so much damage. We'll finish him off with it just to be stylish, but that is absurd. I'm coming for you, buddy. Hang on. Bop. There we go. Easy fight, man. We then come across the red dragon again, and I snipe his tail off. This is required for the Knight's Honor Trophy, where I have to quote-unquote acquire every rare weapon in the game. And as you will see later on, there is a lot of rare weapons. Finally, the Drake Sword is ours. Oh, the one shot! The Drake Sword is no joke, and we are going to be using this weapon throughout most of the game. Oh my goodness! Boom! This sword is so overpowered! Bro got knocked to the ground! Watch this! Boom! <laughs> we got the Black Knight Greatsword and a Titanite Chunk. That is huge right there. After discovering how strong the Drake Sword was, I had another idea. Hold on, since that knight died really easily, can I go back and kill this chunky knight that's down here? We oh, he dodged it. Bro, and who invited you to the fight, bro? Get out of here! Stupid AI in this game, man. Back up. Ooh. Wait, weapon at risk, what? Uh, and he just plummeled me, dude. Nope, it turns out you can't. The weapon broke mid-fight and I had to repair it, so I decided to cheese him another way. Well then, that was pretty easy. We then make it to the next main boss fight of the game. This looks like another boss fight. It's the middle one, him. We have to fight him for sure. Okay, we just have to bait out his attacks. There we go. Oh, Gargoyle Axe. Okay, I'll take it. Still bait out of his attacks. Go ahead and hit. Thank you. Bink. Bink. Dodge that. Dodge. Attack. Oh, God. There's two? What do you mean? He breathes fire. Okay, well, this is a predicament. Oh, my God. How am I supposed to do this? Dodge. They're both breathing fire. Can I get off my heavy attack? Nope. Oh my, they're not gonna let me get it off, huh? Heavy attack. What? Oh, it did work. Let's go. Heavy attack. Nice. We're kind of just cheesing them right now. Heavy attack. Bro, how are they gonna do me like this? Get this guy out of here, man. I don't have any heals, bro. This is not good. One's down. We just have to dodge this guy's attack. All right. 
Let's go! First try! Gargoyle Helm. Victory achieved. We have first tried every boss so far. We're him. We are him. In order to progress the story, we must ring two bells. There's the first bell, man. There we go. There it is! Ring the bell! Undead Church! After ringing the first bell, I decided to spend hours grinding levels, collecting trophy-related items, and defeating optional bosses. I also came across two more covenants, the Path of the Dragon Covenant and the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant. And with that out of the way, it was time for the next main boss, the Witch Queen Quilag. Quilag? Qu Quilag? Oh! So we basically just have to dodge the lava and her sword attacks. We have to dodge those too, obviously. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, in that butt. Oh my god, no! She's farting on me! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, come on, you're almost dead. Heavy attack! Yes! Let's freaking go. With Quaylag defeated, we are able to ring the second bell. After ringing the second bell, this opens a new area in the game, and it is known as Sen's Fortress. On top of that, this is one of the hardest early game areas, so this should be fun. There we go, ring the bell, the second bell trophy. But before we leave, I was able to pick up another covenant trophy. So this is Sen's Fortress, and apparently it's one of the hardest parts in the game, because we have to fight these guys. Oh my goodness, that guy just got obliterated. How you doing, buddy? No, get out! Wait. Why can't I talk to him? This is when I realized I made one of the biggest mistakes of my playthrough. This is Sigmire, and if you don't fully exhaust his dialogue when you first meet him, he will just ignore you throughout the entire game. He won't even acknowledge your presence. We also need him for his quest line because he does reward us with a miracle spell that we need for a trophy later on. So I would have to come back to him on my second playthrough. Okay, so before we fight that guy over there, we gotta go up these stairs right here. Oh my, and we have to kill this guy. Beat him up. Beat him up, beat him up. Go ahead, swing like a little baby, and then we just beat him up. There we go. If we didn't kill this guy, he would throw these boulders down at us, making this fight impossible to do. The Iron Golem. What are we playing? Minecraft? Come here. Swing. Swing, bada bada, swing. No, he grabbed me! How? I was behind you. Okay, come up here, buddy, if you want to play like that. Can I throw a uh, fire at you? Oh, oh, damage. Let me get my hits in. He's grabbing me from behind. What? Pause. Beat this man up. Yo, he's glitching out. Are you taking a little break? Is this too much damage for you or what? Do me a favor and hold this magic. Come on, he's almost dead. What was that? Let me finish the fight. Oh my god. Dude, if I die right now, I'm quitting the game. Die! Oh my gosh. Finally, we did it. We beat the Iron Golem. Who are these guys? What the? Liquors from Resident Evil? Hello? This next area is called Anna Orlando, and it is one of the most annoying areas in the entire game, and you'll see why. Oh my god, there was a whole city right behind us, and we didn't even know it. Reach Anna Orlando. Let's go. Oh my god. Another gargoyle? I remember fighting you in the beginning. Come on. You got nothing on me, buddy. Let's go. Yeah, get stun locked. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, this guy is bad. Easy fight. Remember when I said this area was one of the most annoying areas in the game? Well, this is what I was talking about. Oh my god, it does so much damage. Stop it. I just fell. Stop this freaking madness, bro. Come on. Oh my god. This has got to be top five dumbest areas in the entire game. Bro, put the bow and arrow away, man. He just... God damn, man. It's not even the part that's bad, bro. It's just the run back. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> this was a- Oh my god. One eternity later. Finally! I got to parry him. Okay, let's go. God, that took forever. Yes, a bonfire. Solaire, you're here to congratulate me. Let's go. What is down here? Havel's armor. Okay. Havel's gauntlets. So this was all of his equipment. I wonder why it's down here. There we go. We're looking fresh. And now for the most notorious boss fight in the entire Soul series. Orenstein and Smo. Let's do this. Oh, we're melting him. He's not even attacking us. Melt him. Okay, we got him. Let's go. Oh, he just finished him off. Okay. Put him out of his misery, I guess. And he's going super sand now. Oh my gosh. Teammate, be careful. We're still on him though. Oh, that was a huge attack. Nothing we can't persevere. Come on, keep damaging them. This magic does good damage. Come on, finish them off. Let's go, Wanted Corporal. My man. After defeating Ornstein and Smo, we were granted two more trophies. One for obtaining the Lord Vessel and the other for joining another covenant. Oh my goodness, hello. Come hither, child. Don't mind if I do. Hey, there it is, Lord Vessel Trophy. You may now warp between bonfires so we can fast travel now. That is huge. 
and the princess guard covenant let's go now that we can fast travel i decided to go back and pick up some more covenant trophies now for this next boss we had to travel to this weird snow dimension oh my god that's a big boy that's a big boy but i'm a big boy too how's this damage feel really can we stop with the arrows hey how you doing maybe we could just talk something now and i can take you out sometime no! or what's the deal whoa what happened whoa oh there we go she was invisible okay bink there it is priscilla's dagger and now we can just finish you off bah! defeat crossbreed priscilla i'm sorry sorry that had to happen the next boss on the list was gwendolyn and this was probably one of the most boring fights in the entire game all you have to do is run down this hallway dodging all of its attacks and that's pretty much it it's an easy fight hey defeat the dark sun gwendolyn okay that was pretty easy. After collecting what I thought was the final Covenant trophy, I ran into the saddest boss fight in the entire game. All right, puppy, it doesn't have to be this way. Oh, he wants the smoke. Hold the lava. Okay. Oh man, you should not be letting me get these off. Take these hits in. I'm sorry this has to happen. All right, we're two-handing it now. Come here. Okay. No, he's limping. Bro, really? I don't want to have to do this. I'm sorry. Man, that was sad. Art of Abyss Walking. Okay, that was probably the saddest trophy I've ever gotten. On top of that, we have to defeat this boss two more times in order to get all of his boss soul weapons. It's like the developers knew what they were doing. And then we have this boss that I literally killed in three hits. Fast forward a little bit, and now we are in the Demon Ruins. Slaying a couple bosses here, we finally make it to the worst boss in the entire game. The Bed of Chaos. No! Oh my god. This is so stupid. What a bad boss fight. And we get pushed in right away. Let's go. We have to jump down here and then run. Literally just run through here. Time for rolling. Just keep rolling and then smash this thing. Kill it. Let's go. The Lord Soul. Defeat Bed of Chaos. Let's go. We also ended up collecting every pyromancy flame in the game. There we go, Bond of Pyromancer. That is a huge trophy completed, okay. We are now in the home stretch of the game. We only need to defeat three more main bosses for the Lord Vessel, and then we can move on to the final boss. Defeat Seath the Scaleless. And like the Pyromancy trophy, I came across another huge trophy for collecting every spell in the game. All right, and we should get a trophy for buying all these miracles here. There it is, Wisdom of a Sage. Now, this next boss fight had me so confused at the start. I thought there was only one enemy that you could damage in the fight, but it turns out you have to kill every single one of them. The reason why I thought that in the first place is because the death perception is extremely off-putting in this fight. The boss seems like it's way closer than it actually is. So we don't attack He's this one. Where are your clones at? Oh, there he is. That's the one we have to damage. Are you serious right now, bro? Wait, what? Wait, wait, which one do we have to damage? Stop, please. For the love of God, how do we damage you guys? How do you do this fight? Okay, there's two down. Hurry up and heal. Stop swinging. All right, there's the next one. Dude, how? Like, I have to be on you, man. This is so lame. Die. Okay, where's the last one? There's the last one. Let's go. Get super close to him and get our damage in. Super close. There we go. Did we do it? I think we did it. Is that it? defeat the four kings let's freaking go oh my gosh that was easily the hardest fight for me just because of the terrible hitbox the next and final lord boss was grave lord nito and this boss fight was really easy the only bad part about it was the run back because every time you died you had to run across this huge cave with extremely powerful enemies in it and it was not fun finally what an annoying boss with every lord boss defeated, it was time to knock out some crafting trophies. You get these by crafting every single weapon element in the game, and here's a compilation of the trophies popping. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the final boss of the game, Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. <clears throat> He's actually really easy. Probably one of the easiest bosses in the game. Oh, just like that, we're in here. Okay, come at me, buddy. Apparently, we're supposed to parry this guy, so here we go. Parry. There we go. Boom. And whenever we parry him, we have to heal. Okay. Parry. Let's go. Parry. Oh my god, this boss is easy. This is so sad. Uh-oh. Okay, wait. I take back what I said. Okay, okay. He's going crazy. All right. Let me get my heels off. Boom. Boom. Brody's going super saiyan. Let's go. This should be it. Beep. Dead. 
There we go. Soul of Gwyn, the Lord of Cinder. First tried that boss too. Let's go. So for this first playthrough, we're going to go for the good ending. And all we have to do is go over here and activate the bonfire to link the fire. Let's go. The first ending trophy. And now it just throws us back in on New Game Plus all over again. Here we are. So on my second playthrough, we're going to be going for the Dark Lord ending, aka the bad ending. And along the way, we ran into Sigmire again, and his quest is actually working this time. And I came across the final covenant for the game. Also the rest of these crafting trophies. And with the platinum trophy in reach, it finally dawned on me how amazing this game is. Dark Souls is definitely a masterpiece of a game, and I think everybody should give it a try, no matter what console or PC you play on. It's one of those games where you'll most likely go in hating it, but come out absolutely loving it. And for that, I definitely think the game is worth your playthrough. But back to the platinum. Let's go. Beep. Out of my way. <sighs> That was tough. So for the bad ending, all we have to do is walk out this door right here, and we should be good. We did it. That's the bad ending. Let's go. Look at us, man. We're the new lord. Let's freaking go. The Dark Lord ending. Let's go. Dude, that ending was that ending was great. That was definitely the better ending. And after running through my third and final playthrough, it was time. Oh my goodness. Okay. All we have to do is talk to this blacksmith behind us and he's going to give us our platinum trophy. We're going to use the souls of every boss we've defeated in the game to make their boss weapons. And this should give us the platinum trophy. Is this it? The golem axe. Is this it? There it is. Knight's honor. And wait for it. <laughs> The Dark Soul, the platinum trophy for Dark Souls Remastered. Oh my god, we finally did it. Oh man, that's such a relief. I don't have to come back here ever again. And with that said, it's time. Goodbye, Dark Souls Remastered. Man, and we did that in 52 hours when the guide said 70. Let's go. Let's go.